Hello there, Sam is here and in this video I'm going to talk about virtual DJ still and I'm going to I'm going to mention about a very basic and easy way of scratching. It is called stab scratches, just like you heard in the beginning. Alright, so that is how it sounds. I have chosen to call it a stab scratch on my own because it only scratches like like it sounds sharp like a stab, okay? Like it goes ahead only by 120 milliseconds or depending on what you have preferred to choose for your measures. In this case, when it's scratching back, it's a silent thing. You only take it back to the cue point silently and then stab it back again and so on and so forth. So I always prefer putting the same song in this case for practice I'm going to put the same song on both sides of the text and then get going. So like I was explaining, it's, it stabs ahead by 120 ms and then comes back silently to the first cue point or the cue point that you prefer silently. So it's a stab scratch, you keep stabbing it as you play. It's very basic and very simple. Now for you to be able to configure this in your virtual DJ of any version that you're using no matter what, you will at least need to make uh, simple mappings that I'm going to show you right now and I believe I also have the links in the description so just go to your settings then rush to your mappings or controllers and the key section I'm going to use a few like about four I'm going to use C that key I'm going to use V I'm going to use N and then the space bar those are the keys I'm going to use now just copy and paste these <coughs> mappings that I'm that I'm showing you right here I'm sorry for that <clears throat> Sorry for that sound there. So in C, I have decided to use Q underscore and stop. Just copy. And then in V, I've used Q stop. In V, I mean V is go to Q. All right. In N, I am using scratch plus 120 milliseconds. And then in the space bar, I'm using play and starter. So when you're good to go, just save that and then come and try. Listen to how it will sound. Now I'm going to press N and V simultaneously and then use C to go to the first Q. Listen. Yeah, so you should be able to hear the sound if you really mapped very well and just practice scratching, you understand? So just make your fingers get used to the keyboard and then get scratching. But that is how it is really supposed to be done. Just listen. You can also try putting other scratches within it and always avoid long pressing on the scratch forward otherwise you make this mistake here so always make sure you keep on the cue point and keep going all right guys so i hope this video was really helpful if you really enjoyed watching the video or if you really uh loved the video just give me a thumbs up briefly and if there's something i should know also you should consider commenting down below if you're still new to my channel then at least you have a reason to subscribe in case you still need more content like this otherwise i hope the video really worked out for you